Oh, there's a good one. That'll start the September. <laughs> That's a good way to start the day. Yeah, I mean, I woke up and I was like, huh. It's a good reason to probably get up and just get out there and start trying, huh? Nick? We got some meat on ice. <laughs> we gonna get, go get our own on I ice just, today, bro. I just headbutted my water bottle. <laughs> I'm too fired up. You ain't made any coffee yet, have you? Starting to make my own. I'm about to skedatter on out of here and get mine going too. Yep, skittly do. <laughs> Day three. Any good ones? Uh -huh. Seems like there's some fall out there. <laughs> One to two. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? We're out here set up on a glassing knob. It's totally sick. <laughs> yeah, we didn't see this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Saw four does way down the way. Nick hadn't seen too much, but Warp killed the buck last night, so nice job, Zach. <laughs> Good job letting me know that, because I probably wouldn't have even looked at my phone yet. <laughs> I think what we're going to do is just work our way into the wind. We've got a couple hundred yards we can go that way. We're thinking since the wind's up so high, we're not seeing near the amount of deer that we have. Ben, that they're probably just bedded down now, but they might get up and shift around here in the next hour or two. So just got to find one. Nice one. Oh my god, Jacob. I think he's trying to be. I think he's trying to rub it off. I'm not shooting him. He's not no. Yeah, I wouldn't. You know, I personally don't like the stinky stuff. Yep, work it. Oh, he's scraping. Work it. That's a great dude. That's a good dude. What he's saying? Get this velvet off me. Dude, that's a freaking nice one. Different one than yesterday yet. He's a nine. A bunch of deer coming down in that dead. Golly. Jacob, my goodness. I'm pretty sure he's on public. Sick. Just not sure if he's going to go up and over into that private or stay right there, but either way. Is, it, is there just like three mealies in there with it? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> There's at least one mealie in there. I can see the mealie. It might, it might start crossbreeding. <laughs> hey, it'd be great for kickers and stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> Splits. I said to Jacob, I said, ooh, Jacob, that's a good one. <laughs> well, they got on their feet. <laughs> <laughs> We'd move down, I don't know, 500 yards or so, would you say? Yeah. Honestly, if he was on his feet, we might see him from down where we're at. Either way, we got a different vantage on it. Yeah. And he's fired up. He's been rubbing trees. He kind of worked a licking branch. He's hanging out with like several mealy does, which is pretty interesting. I don't know that I've ever seen one just like right with them like that, especially this time of year. And we haven't seen a lot of mealies in general. No. Nick's on his way out here to meet up with us. Gonna keep eyes on him here until we can't see him anymore, and hopefully we can watch him bed down. But I imagine we'll at least get a pretty good gauge on where he goes. I'm kind of hoping he lays down right in that stuff that he's in. Then we'll. Then he'll be dead by noon. <laughs> he'll at least be spooked. I would like to go back to that. You like you'd like to see him, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. I bet you would. You Another one of those eight-point bucks, huh? Mm-mm. Hope he's a ten point. A ten pointer. He's got ten. I'll just be, oof. Yeah, I think he'll do. He's got a couple bonus times on him. <laughs> got two extras at the end compared to what we're looking for. The mutant tangs. I like that. Oh, yeah. Wind's picking up, obviously. This buck, we're assuming, is bedded down this little swag up in the hills there. Is that what you'd call it, Nick, a swag? I'd just call it, I'd call it a draw. A little draw up there. 
we've been calling it a depression too. It also <laughs> translates to sad spa. <laughs> and he's a sad daddy, so. <laughs> and that's right. <laughs> We're gonna work our way around to him and just try to figure out a way to get in there on him. Probably he's gonna take a little time. Nick's gonna stay over here, just make sure he doesn't go down into the bottom. You know, he might just pick up shop. We're assuming he's better up there now. At some point today, he might go down in there, but we're kind of got a hunch that he's probably just going to spend the day up in there, especially with the wind being the way it is. He's just going to be that tucked down in there somewhere out of the wind, but somewhere right in that sad spot. <laughs> <laughs> just going to have to try not to spook those does, and hopefully at some point we'll get eyes on them before we spook them. And uh, if we do that, we should be able to get pretty close. We'll have a, hopefully a pretty consistent wind up in there and have a lot of time to move in on them. So let's, let's go. Heal. What do you think's going to happen? It's going to take us uh, longer than expected to get eyes on them, but when we do, I think we're going to get some footage of them going like this. And hopefully, you know, we're within range of them. Potentially shoot them bedded down, potentially shoot them moving towards us feeding, potentially shoot them as he's spooking away. There's a lot of options. Something cool is probably going to happen, it feels like, though. I think I'm going to do this, Jake. Mm -hmm. Just kind of scoop and score. Get in there. You ever scoop and score one? Nope. That was our coach's motto, though. The defensive coordinator did not want us to get on a fumble. Like, period. Didn't matter. No one, no matter what the situation was. Scooby, score! Scooby, score! I did actually get on a fumble once, and, and he was like, "Why did you scoop and score?" We got the ball back. Yeah. <laughs> It's always funny to me because it's like, to me, fumble recovery is situational. Yeah. But to him, there's only one thing to do. <laughs> only yeah. scoop and score. It's kind of like this situation. There's only one thing to do. Kill. <laughs> All right, so we swung around to where this buck's at. We're going to start kind of working into the wind towards him, just popping over these hills and glassing down into this bottom. I imagine he's going to be tucked out of the wind down there somewhere. Also trying not to spook these couple does that were with him, but I think if we move slow enough and just pick everything apart, I think we'll be able to see us, at least his tine sticking up. There's not much cover here, so. We got so much wind, though. <laughs> yeah, it's windy. Like, He's not gonna hear us until we step on him. Yeah. That's a good guy. Spot to just chill out for a bit, huh? Just the two does left. Three does left, and one went back in there. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's right in there with her, like, right in that little. I think that was a white tail bill that went in there. eyes on him yet. We're just kind of hoping he gets on his feet at some point during the middle of the day here and then if he does then we're just going to try to get as close as possible. It's going to be a kind of unique setup if we end up getting pretty close to him. There's not a lot of cover but there's a couple things we think we might be able to make work so it should be an interesting afternoon. Nick just brought in a care package. He's going to sit on this spot. I'll try to get another angle for you guys but brought us a bunch of food too. Buck, 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 there he is. Coming in from the left. 
Does are coming around, does are coming around. He spooked him out of there. He come in too hot on the older. <laughs> Get that camera just in case something crazy happens, let's say. Yeah, he's right in that little pocket. <laughs> just comes bobbing from God knows where. <laughs> in there now. <laughs> no, we were talking about how they'll just like go running for a mile for no reason it seems like. Like that thing must have just bombed it down to that bottom at some point when we weren't watching it. Or I mean should, I'm sure we could have just missed him in topography but either way it's like we figured he'd be right here because it was late in the morning. And last we saw he's going right up in here and a bunch of deer were in that little pocket. And then three deer left before, three or four, one went back in there but we didn't know the buck was gone. We never really knew anything about No, him. other than the last we saw him, he was coming right through here, going that direction. And that looked like the spot he should be in. But he just, for whatever reason, went over there, probably closer to permanent water source. Doesn't matter. He's in this pocket in the shade right now. But now the issue is there's a bunch of other deer, and like, there's not a great item. We're gonna have to be sitting pretty low and still, but I mean, we can make it work. It's just gonna be a pretty, stressful night if it ends up working out. That's a lot of deer to get around you to, to get to him. So. All right, good luck. Don't get run over if we shoot him. I'll just try to catch him if he comes this way. So you guys saw those deer just hammer it down into that little spot we've been looking at. We thought they were potentially in there. We thought there was a pretty good chance, or I did. And all of a sudden they just come like out of left field. <laughs> and now they're in there, so I guess it doesn't matter. That's what we were waiting for before we wanted to make our next move. We want to confirm that they were in there. There's a fawn that split off from the group. We're just going to try to kick her away from them so she's not an issue. If it's so windy that those deer probably won't know. So, man, I'm not sure how close we're going to be able to end up, but we're going to try to get as close as we can to get on one of those trails leading out of where they're at. Buck has got to go. You gotta get some warm ups in, buddy. You've oh, been yeah. laying there a while. Let's see what you got. Stay in there, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get down if I need to. I feel like it'll have to be at least. Just give me a camera. I'm gonna back. Yep. Yeah.
see daylight in there, you'll be filming him.
It's an old hybrid buck. Yeah, definitely a white tail. Uh -huh. He had the same look and tail as the meal deer that he was with, them, I thought. Yeah, it's still, it's still longer. Yeah, and he has a white tail face and a rack. <laughs> but he's, I mean, that makes sense why he's hanging out with them now. He's definitely got a little mix to him, it seemed like to me. <laughs> and he acts like it. I don't know what you do different. I'd say we could have picked something further away, but I would have picked something on that side. We had to take our chance and hope that he just came out. I think it would have worked if he did come out this way, like that first doe did. It's just part of it. You just got to get as close as you can. And, I mean, I don't really regret anything. I would have regretted it more if we sat back and then he just like went that way or something, you know, or he came right out here and fed for a long time, right around where he's bedded, and we weren't close enough, but he just picked a different trail going out of there. trying to get in those situations. We figured we'd be close at some point today. <laughs> Seventy on that other hillside. Like he was fifty when he came out, but it was only further than that the whole rest of the time. Like he was sixty-seven up by those bushes when he got to the seventies when he was up on that hillside. Marine, I tried to put on a what the hell happened? <laughs> a little bit of good luck for you for the face paint. <laughs> you were walking on the back side. You have a full face. Y'all can see him in there most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, I could see him for probably the last three hour or two hours. No, Pretty much ever since they went back in there after they all ran out. You did see them all yeah. around. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I spooked like uh, one of the fawns pegged us. There was one white tailed doe in there, wasn't there? Or is it three mule deer does? I'm confused. I think there's only one mule deer doe. I only saw one mule deer doe. I, I, and the other yeah. ones are white tail. Okay. okay. They are. Jake thought the buck was a mule when he came out. Well, from back there, when I was looking at him on the monitor with the, uh... Like hey, let us know in the comments. Think he got a mule, some mule to him? <laughs> yeah, he's he was definitely doing. a white tail. He was a white tail, but he was very... And then even when he took off that time, he did a little bit of a mule deer bound. Might be a it's little like, hybrid to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. go hop in his bed next? Seems like they've been spending some time in there. <laughs> yeah. you carved out the holes. You good? those trees over there I think he'd had no clue. Maybe go up over there where that doe pegged us now and see how just see the difference. I'll tell you where to where she was. That's where they busted us. Give us a little stomp and a blow. <laughs> 68. That's not true, they gotta win. Gotta win sometimes, but maybe yeah, the next one we should try to get, huh? We didn't try for this. <laughs> yeah, we kinda just didn't try hard enough. <laughs> Took it easy today. Spent a couple couple hours out here. We got we started coming in here at eleven o'clock. I mean we started the morning at first light. Yeah, but like started crawling in on this guy at eleven o'clock today and we've just been Bacon in the sun since then, and it's 7 o'clock, 7.30. <laughs> Starting to feel a bit like a dry sponge up here. <laughs> Zach and I ran out of water a little while ago. I mean, we're definitely way more prepared than we we're used to be. Yeah, we're yeah. hydrated still, I think. Yeah. I don't feel dehydrated. No. 
I don't feel as hydrated as I typically do. Mm -hmm. Definitely valuable to be prepared to spend the whole day out there though, like that's what we've learned. Yeah, we used to not be prepared. No. No, we used to not even carry water. That's yeah. like the biggest difference of what we do now. Yeah. I think we could probably go find another one. Yeah, let's go do that and get some water.